The Adventure Travelers, Kipu Ranch Adventures, an honest review. Hi, I'm Mike. I'm Melissa, and, and we're, we're the, the Adventure, Adventure Travelers. Travelers. And today we're at Kipu Ranch uh, Adventures in Kauai, and we're about to go on an awesome three hour VIP tour. So stick around, it's gonna be fun. Yeah. Sweet. When Mike and I arrived, I could tell immediately this was a really cool operation. It had a real family feel to it, but kind of professional at the same time. So we had to do the usual paperwork. It was no big deal, really. The staff were amazing. And I love the idea they have the readers. Good job, guys. Dino was already getting into trouble. Red or yellow? Uh, zero bugs will be good. <laughs> nope, no mini dinosaur helmets. Sorry, Dino. This is our guide, James. James really spent a lot of time with us. What we should and shouldn't do, and he really did a good job explaining how not to get lost, but most of all to have fun. Michael understood. For anyone that books that vehicle goes to Shriners Hospital. It's a children's hospital in Hawaii and any family that goes there for surgery for their kids or whatever, they don't have a bill. They're a nonprofit, so um, they take care of that. And we've raised over fifty thousand dollars for them since we started that. So I think James is gonna take real good care of us. Thanks, James. So after we got harnessed in and geared up, we set out and I was really, really excited but a little bit nervous and so was Dino. By the way, this is a private working ranch. So you'll see a lot of cows and horses and you just get that old time feel. It was amazing. Okay, enough of this old time feel. I'm ready for some action. So James stopped with us and talked a little bit about the cultural history and some of the Hawaiian legends. There were actually movies made here. You know the scene in Jurassic Park where they're being chased to the field? This is it. You know, James is one of those open arms kind of guy. And between our two guides, they have about 18 years of experience. So we're heading into the jungle and it starts getting very exciting here. So James is explaining what not to do, and actually he's really good at that. This is definitely what not to do. The suspension gives a lot of meter side. Even at this angle, it's almost impossible. I could rock this thing pretty hard and it couldn't get its goal. Don't pay attention to the tie marks. This is where you want to be. Here, to the right, there, a big left, back here. And this is how you do it. And all the way down. Once you got that rut centered, it's like it's not even there. 
Either way, James has got some skills. So now with our lessons, we're definitely headed into the jungle, but Michael and the guy in front of us were just amazing. We stopped with our guides and they gave us the most amazing local banana bread and fruit that was just to die for. And by this time we were really ready for a good snack. Best thing about my job is working outdoors every day in such a beautiful place and meeting people from all over the world. Most people I meet are all good people. Right. In general, they all have good in them, you know. I feel that it way. It helps because when everyone comes to Hawaii, it's different. It's laid back. You get to be in this. Not a lot of people are uptight when they experience something exactly. like this, you know? It's pretty all awesome. fun. And if they are, it's our job to loosen them up just a little <laughs> just bit. Just a little exactly. bit. <laughs> exactly. Sorry, look at this place, where we're going. Can you believe this? I just can't believe I'm here and I'm experiencing this in Kauai. Oh yeah, and remember, we're on a working farm. Hello. I think this is the Adventure Traveler's Cow Spirits. So they gave us a little potty break. Well, you guys. They said because ours has the wider wheel base. Oh. So it spits up more mud. Yeah, it's crazy. Oh my god, it's even. Yeah, it's anyone who'd been in here would have gotten pooted. <laughs> One thing that's a must on this journey is to respect the property and the animals in the land. Oh, so I thought we were on our way back, but you know what? The best was yet to come, trust me. I'll just let this one explain itself while you go on this beautiful, romantic, and exquisite journey. The bamboo forest just goes up so high. Love it. Uh, with the rain, it pretty much grows a notch in a day. It's like Gilligan's Island all over again. Remember I said romance? Well, this place is actually romantic, but it's fun. You can be yourself. You can bop around and take photographs and swim and look at this amazing bamboo jungle and just kind of goof around. Every year there's other waterfalls on the property. This one flows year round because it's coming out of the ground uh, ways up there. Because we had a lot of rain, it's flowing really good. Depending where you're from, it's a little refreshing. It's all fresh water, but for most of you, it's, it's probably tolerable. This is Marlin, our other guide. But it's shallow around the edges. It's deep in the middle, about 15 feet, and right where the waterfall is hitting in that white water, there's a rock that's nice and flat. You can stand under the waterfall about that deep. So, if you want to go in, you just got to have something in your feet. A lot of you have water shoes already. 
Of course, Michael, the adventure traveler, is the first one in. I didn't mind getting dirty because it makes my teeth look whiter. Keeper Ranch is really untouched paradise and I just can't believe it's coming to an end. So we pull in and everybody's dirty and filthy and the staff get washing them right away. I think this was one of our favorite tours of all time. We give Kipu Ranch Adventures an honest and solid thumbs up. Please like, share, subscribe, or comment The Adventure Travelers.